At this point in our travels, we're about halfway through our 44 day adventure. We next visit an area called the Sacred Valley of the Incas, also called the Urubamba Valley. This valley is located in the Andes Mountains of Peru and contains the towns of Pizac, El Antitambo and Chinchero. And it lies between Cusco and Machu Picchu. It was originally formed by the Urubamba River. Now despite 12 days in Argentina and Peru, the Spanish language still eluded us. Well, that was complete failure. I really needed the Spanish translator. I thought I was ordering chips. So I pointed and all the rest of it and I managed to get across that I wanted to take away. But I got salad and some whatever, whatever these things are. I have no idea. I'll just end up by giving them away. And an eighth of a chicken. An eighth of a chicken. An eighth of a chicken, and it was all for three dollars. Mm. An eighth of a chicken for three dollars and no chips. Sorry. Oh well. Them, no chips for you tonight. Them are breaks, breaks. The <laughs> chips are down, unfortunately. The chips are really down. What am I going to do with this? Eat it, I suppose. <laughs> By now we had shifted into the Beaux-Arts Hotel to be closer to town. The next morning breakfast was simple but adequate and we took a few photos then our tour guide picked us up for our tour of the Sacred Valley. don't know if you can see in this little car there is a baby down there sitting on the floor. Our route to Pizac took us past Sexy Woman, which we went to in episode 21, two episodes ago. Halfway to Pizac we stopped at a tourist spot where you could use a toilet and have photos taken with an alpaca and also buy things you don't want. At the tourist spot, for variety, we were serenaded by pan pipe music coming from this PA system. Archaeological site. I think I'm archaeologically out. <laughs> Beautiful scenery, look at this. Okay. 
Pizak is a village known for its market days and attracts heavy tourist traffic from Cuzco. The area is more notable for its Incan ruins, known as Inca Pizak, now that's surprising, which lies on the top of a hill at the entrance to the valley. From there, one gets commanding views of the surrounding area. The ruins include the Temple of the Sun, baths, altars, water fountains and a ceremonial platform. The Inca constructed agricultural terraces on the steep hillside which are still in use today. They created the terraces by hauling richer topsoil by hand from the lower lands. The terraces enabled the production of surplus food, more than would be normally be possible at altitudes as high as 11,000 feet. So they built the cemetery 500 years ago. did you think Between 3,000 son tumbas. Oh, cada uno de esos huecos allá al frente son bien. 3,300 meters up. His idea was to come 3,400 feet. No, 3,400 meters. Dropping a lot. Old age. The view is quite nice, though. With military, religious and agricultural structures, the site served at least a triple purpose. We then went down into the town of Pizak for a bit of a look around and attend the usual tourist soft sell. The local taxi driver was pretty friendly, offering me a bite of his lunch. But I wasn't going to take the risk, didn't want to sit on the barno all day. Where did you get the money from to buy that? Yeah. From the money from the money bags. Father Christmas. <laughs> Come early. But uh, this ring has um, is kind of two faced, isn't it? It is kind of two faced. Like that. So Ooh, can't you should, get it off now. You should have only paid um, half the price then, or was it double like the that. price? Oh, very clever. Peruvians are very clever. <laughs> Yeah, this is the 
Yeah, the green guys. <laughs> what do you think of the suit? Mm. Nice. Yeah. Get the same music over and over again. Mm. We're in Peru. No. Are we eating anything exotic here? No. Very really disappointing. We got bumped off the bus first. So we all the gringos go. You think the other guys are going where there's a guinea pig and llama. But I'm worried about that. Hmm. 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 We got pork. Hmm. As usual, we partook of coca leaf tea to combat altitude sickness. One cup of tea contains enough alkaloid to cause a positive result on a drug test for cocaine. Is this a story about toilets? Uh, yeah, I went to the toilet at a, at a dump and uh, nice. you don't put the toilet paper down the uh, No, you put bowl. it in the you back. Just, you put it in the back of next door and the back of next door is full. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we'd given up climbing yeah. ancient sites. I know. <sighs> Long way to go still. I know. Olente Tambo is both a town and also an Inca archaeological site. It's located at an altitude of 2,792 metres or 9,160 feet in the district of Olente Tambo in the province of Urubamba in the Cuzco region. What are you doing here? Yeah. Just hanging around. Waiting for the rain to clear. <laughs> it's only spitting at the moment. But it's pretty windy. <laughs> During the Inca Empire, Olente Tambo was the royal estate of Emperor Pachacuti, who conquered the region and built the town as a ceremonial centre. At the time of the Spanish conquest of Peru, it served as a stronghold for Manco Inca Yupanqui, leader of the Inca resistance. Nowadays, it's an important tourist attraction on account of its Inca buildings and as one of the most common starting points for the three-day, four-night hike known as the Inca Trail. Also notable are the many stone storehouses in the surrounding hills. 
There's a horrendous amount of blah 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 regarding the cut stones which make up the ceremonial centre on Temple Hill. Our guide explained the energy associated with them and his theory was that aliens helped the Incas build the temple. I mean how else could they have built it considering how massive these stones are? Is, is it Music to your ears. Show your tickets here. Tienen que mostrar los. But you have to take your flight connection. Munia. 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 It's um mint tea. It's really nice. Indian mint. You can really taste the mint. Tea, Barbara. Jessica. Tea, tea. Tea, tea. Okay, let me introduce Chaska. She's going to explain and decide. Les presento a la señorita Chaska. Ella es la que va a hacer la presentación. Vamos, Chaska. Muy buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a Chinchero. Mi nombre es Chaska. Yo les voy a explicar todo el proceso de elaboración de los productos. Como nosotros utilizamos estas plantas. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Chaska. Welcome to Chinchero Medicine Center. Now I am going to explain you about the origin process. La so, Chaska means Venus. Means Venus the start. Oh, I get it. Did you listen? Luego tenemos unos madejones así en forma cruzada, lista para el té. Los chalecos que tienen adentro, pero lo auténtico original es esta manga que les utiliza. This is a medicinal plant. Its name is Kinsak Ucho. We can get a nice the blue color. And medicinal plant is good for our bones, pains, for rheumatism. This is a plant medicinal. So to fix to fix the blue color, mm -hmm. they use PP of the babies. Oh. Sí. El de los adultos tiene mucha cerveza. Whisky ya no sirve. No. <laughs> This is a medicinal plant, its name is Tara, we can get a nice the grey color and medicinal seed is good for soul throw. This is a plant medicinal, su nombre is Tara y obtenemos todo. In the first pot boiling cauliflower for yellow color, in the middle pot boiling clean water, in this pot boiling it can live for green color. In la primera olla las hojas de la chica para el color. Now I am going to put the cochineal powder. It's okay for the que picture están listos para la foto. Ah, she said. What are you thinking? You're not talking. Are you ready for take a picture? Is okay. Están listos para la foto. Look at this the first color, yellow, purple, and green color. Los primeros colores. Para el segundo color yo voy a agregar la sal de maras moray. La niña va a agregar una piedra volcánica. Su nombre es Colpa. For second color, I am going to put the salt from maras. 
for different teams the color and fix the color she put volcanic stone for to fix the color never lost the color están listos para la foto are you ready for the picture is okay what is this look at this orange <laughs> the nice color depends how long time you get into the boiling water eucalypts and cauliflower one hour the coaching need the 30 minutes las plantas van a hervir una hora y la cochinilla media hora. Lavas las veces que quieras, no pierde el color porque utilizamos fijadores. Luego pasamos al siguiente proceso, que es la unión de las dos hebras en una sola. And so, bla 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 bla. And with that, we headed home to our hotel and the next day departed for Puerto Maldonado to experience the Amazon jungle. Star Peru's um, security for uh, baggage, um, baggage, bags of like x-ray, it's just a manual process, the guy just opens it up and have a look and then closes it again. <laughs>